السلام علیکم آئی ایم شجاعت علی فرام میڈیکوز لیکچرز بائی شجاعت اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا کرینیل نرو نمبر نائن وچ از آلسو کالڈ ایز گلوسو فرینجیل نرو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اٹس اے ناٹ می ہیئر ڈیورنگ دس ڈائگرام we will know about the nuclei present in the cranial nerve number 9 and also the location of cranial nerve number 9 cranial nerve number 9 originates from the medulla oblongata and from the anterior aspect of medulla oblongata it moves laterally in the posterior cranial fossa and then leaves from the jugular foramen we have inferior salivatory nucleus in it and here on the right side cranial nerve number 9 and nucleus amphigus amphigus and on the left side we have cranial nerve number 9 and spinal tract of spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve and also the solitary tract nucleus is present here now we are discussing the brief theory of cranial nerve number 9 on page whenever we are going to discuss about the cranial nerve number 9 glossopharyngeal nerve we must know the terminologies first is somatic visual efferent second is general visual efferent general somatic efferent third is general visual efferent and the fourth is general visual efferent and the fifth one is somatic visual efferent we also must know their functions in cranial nerve number 9 somatic visual efferent has its function in elevation of pharynx elevation of pharynx and general general somatic efferent has its role in external ear in sound hearing and general visual efferent is in secretion of saliva and uh, somatic uh, visual efferent and general visual efferent general visual efferent is carotid sinus and pharynx it has its role carotid sinus plus pharynx and in the last we have somatic visual efferent that has its role in the taste in tongue its posterior one third posterior one third and role in taste glossopharyngeal nerve basically is the nerve of first brachial arch and contains somatic visual efferent somatic visual efferent and general visual efferent first brachial arch nerve contain somatic visual efferent general visual efferent and somatic visual efferent nuclei during this presented diagram we uh, clearly see that glossopharyngeal nerve from jugular foramen enters here right communication through the aerolical branch of vagus nerve and superior and inferior ganglia are present right here and from here it differently branching multiple branches of glossopharyngeal nerves Uh, in different areas and different regions of facial and other regions of the body are carrying on now discussing the branches of cranial nerve number 9 we have tympanic nerve that is the first branch of cranial nerve number 9 during tympanic nerve we have a tympanic plexus formation tympanic plexus formation is on the medial wall of middle ear medial wall 
of middle ear we also form another plexus in case of tympanic nerve is carotid plexus that form that form from the sympathetic nerve carotid plexus from sympathetic nerve then we have second type or second branch that is communicating branch communicating branch has its role basically to join the auricle of vagus nerve and provide us a general somatic afferent fibers join the auricles of vagus nerve vagus nerve is cranial nerve number 10 and also provide us gsa fibers general somatic afferent fibers our third branch is pharyngeal branch pharyngeal branch has its role in joining the fibers of uh, pharynx to the pharyngeal plexus join pharynx fibers to pharyngeal plexus our fourth branch when we are discussing the glossopharyngeal nerve is carotid sinus branch carotid sinus branch we have supply of general visceral afferent fibers to the carotid sinus and from the carotid body and have it have their role in mediating the efferent limbs carotid sinus branch of glossopharyngeal nerve it has its role in supply general visceral afferent fibers also noted as gva to the carotid sinus plus mediate the efferent limbs our fifth branch is tonsillar branch a little bit detail we have for tonsillar branch is that tonsillar branch have gva fiber to the tonsils plus palate tonsillar branch is our fifth branch of glossopharyngeal nerve and in its detail we have uh, gva fibers to the tonsils plus palate and our uh, sixth and seventh branch is uh, consequently the motor branch plus a uh, lingual branch motor and lingual branch in functional component of glossopharyngeal nerve we have different fibers for the different nuclei first heading is functional component during the functional component we have basically three fibers our first fiber is somatic visceral efferent fiber second is somatic visceral efferent fiber and our third fiber is general visceral efferent fiber first of all discussing about somatic visceral efferent fiber somatic visceral efferent fiber is basically for the nucleus m fig m bigwas nucleus ambiguous and uh, our somatic visceral efferent fiber is for the nucleus of tectus solitaris tectus solitaris nucleus and our general visceral efferent fiber is for inferior salivary nucleus
it's basically the detail of our glossopharyngeal nerve inshallah in the next video we will discuss about the histology histology of small intestine and also about large intestine thank you so much